some key important thoughts and feelings from this evening. Every day, in each moment, if you can accept yourself for what you're doing, even if it isn't what you think you should be doing or what you want to be doing, if you can accept yourself as you are in those moments, then you're already aligning to your highest timeline by projecting in, vibrating at the frequency of love instead of self-judgment. Because I think when we have some type of goal in mind or something that we would rather be doing or working on, we become very self-critical around the way we manage our time, especially when we have other obligations in our lives. But that stress or that anxiety that can arise if we can accept what we're doing and let ourselves off the hook for whatever's going on in that moment and turn the little light on in the heart that says, I am okay right now, this is fine. That's a very good stepping stone. The second thing is if you want to help others and you're guided by helping others to the point where you're stressed or discouraged about how you can do that, know that when you help yourself and align with what feels good for you, even on the smallest level, even like making a commitment to go for a walk and get some exercise or eat well, things that have nothing to do in practice with the larger goal or in theory with the larger goal, but in practice they actually do. Because when you nourish yourself on every dimension and level that a person and a soul and a body and a mind needs to be nourished, you are helping the people that you want to help by default because you're becoming the version of yourself that is more helpful. So helping yourself in every small way that you can on a day-to-day -day basis and not skipping over those steps of self-care, you could call them, that is the most helpful thing that you can do to achieve your big goals or to help other people. It all comes back to accepting the way that your day is going and how you're feeling, even if it's not what you'd want to be doing or how you'd want to be feeling. It's very hard to feel something less than good and accept it, but it's an important dis distinction to be able to make. Like, oh, I feel kind of sad and down right now, but that's okay. I'm going to ride it out. I accept myself for this moment. That switch cognitively is servicing your higher goals because your spirit and your mind is taking the pit stops that it needs to take on your journey in alignment with self-love, self-respect, and self-acceptance to get you to where you need to be. The universe isn't going to forget what you want if you hold it in your heart, if you make lists and write it down, if you pray or say affirmations, even if you don't even put it outside of your head. Your your head and your thoughts are not a quiet, well, not quiet, but a complete private space where nothing ever gets out. The universe knows of your thoughts because you are of the universe, and the universe has your thoughts too. Quantum entanglement has proven to us that something you touch in your immediate surroundings right now can have an effect on an electron on the outer edge of a star in the far reaches of this galaxy. So something that you think in your brain can change something that you didn't even talk about, let alone think about or do anything about. So... <laughs> 